Hello and welcome back to another vlog. If you're wondering what that noise is, where are you? <laughs> it's uh, I've got Katie here, Katie Ellison. Just perspiring just a bit. I get having a bit of a spray. It's not a deodorant ad. Um, although I would welcome. Oh, no, I would I, welcome a deodorant. I will say. Yeah. I didn't know that this is a little mini one. I didn't know you could get yeah, a little handbag mini Handbag size, handbag oh, size. Um, so Katie's here. Do you want to oh, talk about it on the other side of you Come again? Come on in. Um, Katie's here, we're having a day together. Katie is vlogging the whole day. The, the whole, whole shebang. The whole shablammy. Um, I'm taking you to Costco. We're both going to Costco. Let me start this You're going to pop huh. my Costco cherry. Pop her Costco cherry. <laughs> um, basically, this whole vlog is, hello, come to Costco with us. It's Katie's first time. I think I went when I was a child, but that I don't remember that it. That doesn't count. Um, I consider myself a bit of a Costco expert. Come forward a bit, because you're very far away, and, we, and I'm going to look like a football head, and you're going to look like a pea head. And we yes. like this, then we'll be equal. Um, yeah, I've been going to Costco for a good many years now. And I'm very excited. I have a trade membership. There's many different types of membership you can so. get. Yes, yeah, so you can look online. My membership, I think, is something like £26 a year. Um, I'm going to show you what things I think are really good, what things are worth buying, what things I tried and were not worth buying, um, but I'm not going to talk too much on prices because it depends where you shop. Like you might say, oh, this pasta is cheaper than the pasta I get at Tesco's, but what if you shop at Sainsbury's? Mm. What if you, like, it's all a bit subjective. So I won't talk too much on cost. I'll let you do your own research on that. I'm looking for a tub of giant pretzels. That's, yes. that's what started this. This is what started So basically, it. She, my, won. Yes. she won some pretzels. I won some pretzels in a <laughs> raffle for the coronation, as you do. Our neighbours have been to God Costco. save the king. Yep. God, uh, God. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying um, and basically it was a giant tub of pretzels and I was like where did she get these from to my little neighbour yeah I don't know why she's little and um, she <laughs> was like I got them from Costco so I was like here we go and I, here. she was like I want to go I was like I'm a member let's go so I've got a list of things I want You've not got a list. Well, you've got I've, pretzels. I've got pretzels. And Maddie, my eldest, was like, oh my God, you're going to Costco. Because I think, like, they see, like, she was like, I want yeah, to go is to Costco. Is Costco cool for the youth? It is for, the for, the gen, youth. for the Gen Z and Gen Alpha. And she said to me, can you get me something in bulk for me? Everything's in bulk. <laughs> Everything's massive at Costco. Even the gift cards are A4 size. Here Let's we are. Go. We've arrived at the mothership. This is Milton Keynes Costco. This is just. Are you excited? I'm beside myself with excitement. You should be. I'm just going to park here. Okay. I wasn't going to share my, my list, but Kay said you might want to hear it, so I'll put a timestamp if you want to just like hop I think on to actually loves the list. In. Okay, this is on my list Costco Street Corn. What's Sweet that? Mercy Above. It's like these packets of like, corn. Oh, You're going to love it. It's frozen. And it, little spices, little cheats. Oh, if it's in there, I'll show you. Uh, yakisoba noodles, because I've discovered a trick with them to make them even better. It says microwave them, but you microwave them and then you put them in a wok. You add in a little bit of um, glazed balsamic vinegar, a little bit of sesame oil, a little bit of maple syrup, stir it all round. I knew you were oh, an expert, God. but I feel like I really am in the presence of Costco <laughs> royalty here. Yeah, like that's a frozen item as well. Um, cups, like we've got so, so many of these. I remember the kids need some more ones. Do you think they'll have a Stanley Cup dupe there? Maybe. I would love one of those. Um, I need some more scent boosters, awesome. some aerial pods, some meaty pouches for the cats. Meaty. <laughs> me you mustn't let me leave without getting no, that meaty, meaty pouch. You know the whiskers pouches? Yes. So I made a grave error with the meaty pouches last time. Mm. I bought them. If you're a cat owner, you'll know this pain. I bought the ones in gravy instead of oh, in no. jelly. Even as a non cat owner, I know. Oh, so it's all sloppy. Shower gels, deodorants, coated almonds. Do you like almonds? Okay, you're not going to like these. They are like, they are, are one of the best things I've ever put in my mouth, and I've got oh, a lot of things yes. in my mouth. Um, yes. Candy cables. What's that? Um, oh, the sweets. Yeah. Salmon, or salmon, as other people call it. Salmon. They do lovely salmon here. Um, and Liam's added white bin bags. You mustn't forget those you at mustn't the end. Those. Well, I but haven't got a list apart from my pretzels, but sometimes if you don't have a list, that's not a bad thing because I'm just going to go with the flow. Just going to go rogue. Right, first things first, let's get a trolley, and you will see even the trolleys are oversized. <laughs> there we go. So the first thing you see when you walk into Costco is their electrical department. You can also get your eyes examined here. Examined? Examined? <laughs> so when you walk in, you walk in just there, 
and you're greeted with all the tech but also you can get your eyes checked here as well um, and you can get all sorts of like things for your contact lenses um, but also you can get a washing machine <laughs> you can get it all here at Costco I'm gonna show you something else that I think okay. as a newbie you'll yes. you won't expect that you can get at Costco oh, okay. follow me this way did you know you can buy diamond I rings didn't. so you can pick up you can pick up an engagement ring a box of pretzels some, some, diamond rings. some tech get your eyes done yes. and, and a wedding ring yeah I like that one a lot for only here we are only twelve thousand pounds you could have that Diana jobby. Wow. Yeah, or or a gold bar. Did you know you could buy an actual oh gold bar for just twenty six thousand pounds? Gold bullion. <laughs> yeah. So I always like to start on the right hand side. There's not usually anything I need from down these aisles because these are all like homeware, some like electrical things, kitchen stuff. Although I can see some water bottles, and I did want some cups, but they're not in the space. Why can I, why can I, how can I get you? This is a product that I've bought before and really love. It's the Softworks OXO containers and they really do keep everything fresh for a long time. They are a bit more expensive than like your average Tupperware, probably because they've got this like mechanism on, but they're really, really good. I've bought a couple of boxes of these before. I'm just saying that I've bought these and they are really, really good. They do keep everything really fresh um, and I actually find them better than this sort of lock lid. So I've tried that type as well, but these are the winner for me. Oh my goodness, this is the first time I've seen crickets here. So I have the cricket joy at home, but they've got the big boys here. Do they have the iron-on ones, like the hot press jobbies? If I see that, I might be tempted. I'm probably not gonna do the middle bit. Sorry, I'm a bit blurred. Um, because it's all closed and I'm not too bothered about those. But we are approaching the food. It's making me excited. Just before we get to the food section, I actually do need some more of these. I absolutely love these because basically they allow you to hang things up without nails, but after about two years, mm -hmm. they just fall off the wall. Yeah, they do. Like, yes, okay, great, because I thought it was just me, but so I need to replace a few they of really these. Do just fall off the wall. <laughs> yeah, um, but they're better than nails. So I'm going to get some of those my first purchase. And now I'm excited about this because I feel like this is very, very up Pearl Street. This is cute as well. Can you? like draw these and then wash it off. I assume so if it's washables and then like redo yeah, it. Yeah, washable animals. So you get loads of opportunity, like loads of goes. I feel like Pearl would like this as well. This is oh yeah, she would, anything crafty Pearl loves. Also gonna grab some post-it notes because I have a new book idea and I plan everything out on post-it notes on like a big sheet of paper and then I can move my notes around. But they've got lots of really good stationery. If you're already thinking about back to school, I know it's a bit soon, but if you're uber prepared or you just like stationery, they've got a lot of it here. Two eighty nine, and I'm going to get a pack of these wraps. We've had these before, they last really well, and you get three packs of eight. Um, and what's the date on this? Goes until July, so definitely going to get some of these. We've had these before as well, and these are lovely. I don't know if I'm going to get any today, Am I, aren't I, am I, aren't I? I am, I'm doing it, I'm getting them. In you go. Where's Katie? Okay, she's by the do-nuts. Would you pronounce this do-nuts or do-nuts? You're gonna get some wafts? Yeah, we love wafts. Oh, these, these are the best mad lines. I'm gonna have to get some of those. My sister and I call these the taste of Spain because they remind us of Spanish holidays as a kid. They taste exactly like the ones we had out there. Oh, like they are so nice. I'm getting two boxes because they are so, so nice. Share them with my sister. These are 5.69, by the way. This is just a little look, a little cross section of the pastry section. One thing I wouldn't recommend is these. I was looking at those. They look amazing, but I've had them and I just didn't think that much of them, if I'm honest, so I don't buy them anymore. But I will say they do look very Instagram, don't they? But yeah. I wouldn't recommend these. I've had these. These are really tasty, the seed and nut clusters, they're lovely. So the they also cake. do giant cakes. Yeah, that carrot cake. Some, these are absolutely enormous. Just here's my hand for scale. They are massive. And there's loads of different varieties that you can get. My as kids, well as... My kids love football, look at that. They would love that, wouldn't they? Look sort of the blue decorated one. ones. Oh. I bet they taste so good as well. So good now one. this is something I've not seen before. Mini crow dots. So they're, I think they're a crow nut, you know, like half between 
a donut and half a tuna croissant. So the pastry area is over there, and then you've got the rotisserie meat section, and then this area, they used to do the most amazing dirty fries, and I haven't seen them the last few times I've been here, but I live in hope. Look at these, your little like build your own tacos, how cool are they? Those salads that they're making in there look nice, that pesto pasta. They've also got sushi platters. Now, something I will say is the fruit and veg here, I would just completely skip. I don't know why, but it all seems to go off so quickly. I've tried so many different things from here. At first I thought maybe they were shipping it from America because this is an American company. Um, but then someone told me they don't. I don't know, like, it's, it's, it's looks so nice, but it just goes off so quickly. So I just avoid all fruit and veg from here, except one thing. This is the best salad I have ever had in my life. It's the broccoli salad. I don't know what it is about the dressing and the cranberries, but it's just incredible. I put it all in like a giant mixing bowl and just eat it all myself with a fork. Oh, Get I it. I insist because it's just so good. But look at the date, though, so, yeah, because I'm there's the away. 31st. So you have to eat it like pretty quickly. But oh my god, it is the best. Don't do it, Katie. You're getting excited, aren't you? Because it's big, really big. Yeah. Look at the size of them. They're enormous, but they don't last. They don't. I suppose if you're going to get it and like eat it today, but even then, I feel like that's already starting to go a little bit this is something that we've bought before and i had such high hopes for it but we didn't really like it we thought like the bread was really dry and it just didn't really kind of come out like that so either we cooked it wrong or it wasn't great but either way that's not something i'd buy yeah i was just saying we bought it before and it didn't have we didn't love it these are really good and they usually have quite a good date on them i usually get one of these and just have it in the fridge because um, my kids really like it just for like a really super easy dinner um, where's the date on you? It said 9th of June. Usually there's a really, really good shelf life on them. Maybe this one at the back that's a bit better. Absolute joy of Costco. One minute you're in the chill dial and then you just turn and you're in the giant, by your own giant playground aisle. Last time we came, I tried to convince Liam that this would be a really good idea for our house, <laughs> for our garden. He seemed to think it wouldn't be, but I feel like it would. What do you think? Leave your comments below. Let's all nudge him into suggesting this is a great idea and we should immediately have one for the garden. Get that content, that sweet, sweet cookie dough content. Absolutely, yes, yes. You've got a lovely, a lovely trolley going on here. No, I am. Oh, what's this? I'm getting two of these. Sorry. Oh. What's this you've gone for? Oh, oh nice. Got my first little sample. There she goes. Looking alive. <laughs> so I've actually picked up the olives because that sample was really nice and also the guacamole here is incredible this is so 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 nice it's got a bit of a kick to it it is a bit spicy and then I got the stuffed pe feta stuffed peppers they go until September so I thought they were good and very excitingly I found these remember we saw the big pack of them earlier here we go that will do for Pearl's lunchbox so we're moving past the fresh stuff now and into this area Obviously, Katie's found the Diet Coke, treated yourself to a stack, yeah, of course. I mean, I don't know if there's any savings, is it, or if it's just in bulk that it's... Um, I think, again, it like, depends on where you normally shop, doesn't it? Okay, cleaning products. I buy a lot of them from here. I do find that the cleaning stuff is good value. <gasps> Scent boosters, yes. I want some Unstoppables. The cling film and foil we use at home and we really, really love it. This is the one we get. This one's available too, but this is like a bit long for us. Probably more for like catering, but yeah, it lasts ages and that's really good. So the cheese here is lovely, but who can get through this much cheese? I know you can freeze it, but that's just a bit too much cheese for me. Um, I'm a bit excited about these. I've started drinking this. Didn't used to like coffee, but I quite like those. How much are they? Ten pounds, nine ninety nine. I think I'm going to treat myself. I think I'm going to get some. There's ten in a pack, so it works out at about a pound. A little coffee. That's quite. That's quite good, I think. I don't drink coffee. Someone tell me if that's good or not good. I don't know what these are, but I just know my children would love these. Oreo milkshakes. It makes me feel funny that it's a milkshake, but it's not being refrigerated. Like, what else is in that milk? 
yeah I'm not sure about those but that's the sort of thing the girls would get very excited to see so we bought these ones these Cornish pasties and Liam's had one and still hasn't had the others in the fridge in the freezer so I'm not sure that says good things about them these oh these are so good they come in these like little like pucks frozen pucks and you put them in the microwave and then they're nice but you can put them in the microwave and then put them in a wok or a frying pan and add whatever you like and like crisp them up a bit and they are just delicious. This is a two hand job I think. Mm, yes. I'm going to have two of these. These are the other things that are my absolute downfall. These jalapeno or jalapeno famers. Oh, they're so good. These kittens. These. Yeah, they are so, so, so yummy. I think I already have some though, so I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna get some. They are so nice. Mm. And they're not that spicy either. They're just, they're just perfect. In your pot. I always keep my eyes peeled for the mini pizzas, but they don't seem to have them today. These uh, mac and cheese croquets, I've tried those, not that, Gooey, ooey, gooey, cheesy. They're a little bit dry, so I would not recommend those. But this stuff, this, oh, this is my everything. I love it. I'm getting two bags of these. These are so, so, so good. Come to mummy. She's been influenced. My work here is done. I've also bought these before, the cauliflower hash browns. They are nice. A little bit greasy, though, but they are nice. My fur babies will be very happy with this. Something I'm always intrigued by, but I've never had the courage to buy is this premium nacho cheese sauce. Like, I feel like it's so wrong, but so right. I love that cheese sauce when you get nachos out and about, but there's something wrong about having like an entire vat of it in your house, isn't there? If anyone's tried it and liked it, let me know. These are the vitamins that we love. Um, these are the Halib Orange ones, can't see it. There we go see their packets a bit better um, but they like these a lot if ever you come into Costco do yourself a favor and grab yourself a bag of these cookies and cream almonds they are just incredible Katie feel like I've done my good deed for the no, day I'm like finding too. those I might get Ooh, too yeah. treat yourself elite level crisps barbecue pop chips these with a cold can of diet coke yes a couple of years ago i asked for recommendations on what to get from here and lots of people said these and i feel like they were pranking me because i got these and it was one of the most disgusting things i've ever put in my mouth if you have little ones these are really good darcy and pearl have enjoyed these particularly pearl 24 packs for seven pounds 18 uh, but yeah, they like those a lot. If you're into nuts, they've got a lot of nuts. You found your, uh, you found your stash, have you? Are you excited? You look quite flushed. <laughs> <laughs> so we've paid for everything, and at the end, you have to show them your receipt. So have your receipt to hand. Don't put it in your bag, and then have to like scrabble around your bag trying to find everything. It was a bit touch and go, but we've got it all in. Take another. Are we having a pretzel? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about these. Okay. I just, and they're not just very, very dry. Dry and salty. Oh, just how I like oh. it. Okay, you've had your first Costco experience. How was that for you? Marvelous. Yeah. Was it? Was it better than you expecting? Worse than you expecting? Or what you expecting? Oh. Oh. Same. Yeah, but different in some ways. Oh, what was saying? What was different? Um, I expected it to be as big as that. Yeah. Expected it to have that kind of stuff, but it also had different stuff, like yeah. less well-known brands than yes. I would have thought. Like you got the odd sort of thing that almost felt, made you feel like you were in America or something. Yeah, that's what make, gets me so excited. Um, we've got our receipts, and we're going to say what was the most expensive thing mm. we bought, and what was the least expensive thing that we bought my okay my most expensive thing was i bought a box of six um rose proseccos for 49 48.99 mm. and then my least expensive thing was um 
I bought those wraps, those tortilla wraps, a pack of three for two eighty nine. What about you? Hmm. My most expensive thing was weirdly the six pack of teppanyaki. What's teppanyaki? That you know the things you recommended the things. Oh, the yakisoba thing. Yeah, so yeah, those nine ninety nine. Yeah, the teppanyakis were ten pounds eighty nine. Oh, because you had a bit of chicken in yours. Um, and then my diet cokes were ten pounds thirty nine. They were yeah. my two most expensive. My cheapest was I bought a bag of Skittles for the kids. Yeah, well, that, was what was that was 3.99 but for a kilogram bag. Yeah, that was a Skittles. lot of Skittles. A, I mean that is a <laughs> lot of Skittles. The other things that pushed me up were I bought a box of Buenos. Um, I bought a big thing of Belgian waffles because oh, we love yeah. a waffle at the weekend and I did check the sale by date um, and it did last for a while and these Belgian waffles were 9 99 but that was a big old bag of them, mm. box of them sorry. That was, that yeah, was a I good very enjoyed time. It. The, the thing that I thought was like quite different was and I couldn't get them because I'm actually going away for two nights. Yeah, you couldn't Where, get a lot of fresh stuff. Yeah, could you? so I got a couple of like strawberries and raspberry things. I but told thing, you not to bother with the fruit. I know, but just because the resist. strawberries were absolutely huge and my kids would go wild. Just you know, when like something's big and no. juicy doesn't mean it's good. But I just like, saw it and my way. um yeah, my kids would love a big old juicy strawberry, so I had to get them. <laughs> but I, 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 I made that joke really dirty in my head. Then you said your kids, I and now know. now I I, um, I retract my smirk now that she's mentioned her children. The thing that I thought was really exciting was there was all those like her, um, pre made the burrito kits, kit, salad yeah. kits, sushi, yeah. and I'd have loved to have got something like that. Yeah, but we've done things we've had parties and we've like gone there and got a load of like big kits and like massive salads and massive pizzas and just laid it all out and that was really good. Yeah. Anyway, I'm glad to have taken you on your first Costco experience. I am glad oh. to have come. Sorry, oh gosh, sorry. Right. I hope that you've enjoyed coming along with us. If you've got any Costco questions, let me know. And what I would really love, if you've watched this far to the end, is your Costco recommendation. Um, something that you've tried from there that you've loved, or something that you've tried, you thought you were gonna love and it was awful, so that we don't make the same mistake. Okay. Alrighty, that's probably My phone it from charging, us. that's oh, why no. I'm having issues. Sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> <get> <laughs> <up>. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.